So the topic is fifth year group elements. This is uh, 15th group elements. Fifth year group element. This is also called uh, 15th group element. In the long form of the periodic table, the 15th vertical column. In the long form of the periodic table, <coughs> in the long form of the periodic table, 15th vertical column of elements, 15th vertical column of elements <coughs> is known as uh, is known as uh, fifth year group elements are uh, fifteenth group elements. So here these are uh, nitrogen, phosphorus, arsenic, antimony, bismuth. Nitrogen, phosphorus, arsenic, antimony, bismuth. Here nitrogen is seven, phosphorus is fifteen. Arsenic is 33, like this. Here, uh, antimony, the antimony is 51, bismuth is 83. These are the respective atomic numbers. So, here, this is helium 3, helium 2s2 to p3. Helium means Two, here two, four, seven. Like this, here neon, three s two, and three p three. Here this is argon, four s two, argon, three d ten, argon, three d ten, four s two, four p three. After argon, krypton, 4D, 10, 5S2, 5P3, 5S2, 5P3. Here this is xenon, 4F, 14, 5D, 10, 6S2, 6P3, like this. So here uh, everything is S2, P6, S2, P3, electronic configuration. That's why this general electronic configuration of uh, 15th group elements is 15th group elements is NS2, NP3. NS2, NP3. So here, how many electrons are present in S orbital? Two electrons in P orbital. Three electrons. Due to such reason, this belongs to 50A group elements. Here two, here three. Two plus three, five. So then, this is uh, also called uh, nicosians. Nicosians. This. Uh, this 50 group elements is also called uh, nicogen because these are mainly from phygenous gases. These are uh, mainly from phygenous gases. These are mainly from phygenous gases due to such region. This is called uh, nicogens. So here, occurrence, occurrence, nitrogen is occurring free state in atmosphere, nitrogen is present, nitrogen, here uh, nitrogen is uh, present in uh, uh, free state, <coughs> free state uh, in atmosphere. Like that means in uh, air, in atmosphere, uh, nitrogen is uh, present. So here, this nitrogen is uh, present 78% by 78% uh, 
बैंड वॉल्यूम वॉल्यूम एंड एटी परसेंट बै मास इन एयर सेवेंटी एट पर्सेंट बै वॉल्यूम एंड एटी पर्सेंट बै मास नाइट्रोजन इज प्रसेंट ओके द इंपारटेंट मिनरल आफ नाइट्रोजन इज द इंपारटेंट मिनरल आफ नाइट्रोजन लाइक दिस इज सिंपली मिनरल द इंपारटेंट मिनरल आफ नाइट्रोजन इज साटर सो दिस इज साटर इस मॉलिकुलर फार्मुला इज के एनओ थ्री एंड chili salt peter and one more is uh, chili salt peter its molecular formula is na no3 salt peter is kno3 chili salt peter is na no3 and one more point is nitrogen is the essential nitrogen is the essential constituent nitrogen is the essential constituent of proteins and amino acids so this uh, nitrogen is uh, essential compound in uh, amino acid and uh, proteins and proteins and proteins next minerals of phosphorus minerals of phosphorus phosphorus widely available in earth crust the phosphorus is mainly widely available in earth crust in earth crust widely available here the one of the compound is fluoroapatite fluoroapatite the fluoro apatite its molecular formula is ca3po4 taken twice and caf2 three moles of ca3po4 taken twice dot caf2 here chloro apatite the chloro apatite formula is ca3po4 taken twice and ca cl2 then hydroxy apatite hydroxy apatite its molecular formula is 3 moles of 3a ca3 po4 taken twice and ca oh taken <coughs> twice this is the hydroxy apatite okay phosphorus is the 11th most abundant element in the universe phosphorus is the 11th most abundant element in the universe 11th most abundant element in the universe so the phosphorus important mineral is uh, phosphate rock the phosphorus important mineral is uh, the important mineral of uh, phosphorus is uh, phosphate rock its molecular formula is ca3 po4 taken twice the mineral uh, formula of uh, phosphate rock is uh, ca3 po4 taken twice and next the remaining elements arsenic the remaining elements arsenic antimony and bismuth is available in trace amounts <coughs> phosphor the remaining elements arsenic antimony and uh, bismuth is available in trace amounts trace amounts means small amounts or uh, little amounts and finally 
the order of abundance is the order of uh, abundance is uh, <coughs> phosphorus greater than nitrogen greater than uh, arsenic greater than uh, antimony greater than uh, bismuth this is uh, order of abundance phosphorus greater than nitrogen greater than arsenic greater than uh, antimony greater than uh, bismuth next physical states what about the physical states means uh, here uh, already you know nitrogen is nitrogen is gas the physical states uh, here uh, n2 is uh, gas nitrogen is gas the remaining all are solids the remaining all are solids phosphorus arsenic antimony and uh, bismuth these are uh, solids gas uh, solid then uh, atomicity what is the meaning of atomicity number, number of, of atoms in a molecule the number of atoms in a molecule is called uh, atomicity here nitrogen atomicity Two. nitrogen atomicity to phosphorus arsenic antimony atomicity is 4 bismuth atomicity is 1 so this is uh, diatomic two <coughs> means diatomic this is four <coughs> means tetraatomic this bismuth is uh, single monoatomic diatomic tetraatomic and monoatomic so here nitrogen if you considering nitrogen its electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p x1 2p y1 2p z1 the number of unpaired electrons is px py pz so this is px orbital this one px orbital of uh, another uh, nitrogen this is uh, py orbital this is also py orbital this one is uh, p z orbital this is uh, p z orbital so here this is uh, along the axis overlapping sigma bond this is uh, this is uh, sideways overlapping sideways uh, overlap it gives pi bond this is also sideways overlapping that one is also pi bond so regarding uh, n2 px px overlap sigma bond py py overlap pi bond pz pz overlap uh, also pi bond. that means uh, in between uh, nitrogen and nitrogen na uh, triple bond present out of three bonds uh, one is uh, sigma bond another two is uh, pi bonds sigma bonds and uh, pi bonds so here uh, n triple bond n strong bond a uh, weak bond one chalk piece breaking two chalk pieces at a time breaking three chalk pieces at a time breaking which is difficult Three chalk pieces. That means number of bonds increases. Bond energy, bond strength increases. So that's why here uh, this nitrogen is uh, this nitrogen is uh, chemically inert. This nitrogen is uh, chemically inert because of uh, bond dissociation energy. The bond dissociation energy is. Uh, 
941.4 किलो जोल पर मोल 941.4 किलो जोल पर मोल ड्यू टू हाई बॉन्ड डिसोसिएशन एनर्जी ड्यू टू हाई बॉन्ड डिसोसिएशन एनर्जी द नाइट्रोजन इज केमिकली एनर्ट The nitrogen is chemically inert. Okay. Next, periodic properties. Periodic properties. What is the first periodic property? Atomic changes. Uh, generally, the periodic properties. Uh, the first periodic property is uh, periodic. properties so in this uh, periodic properties generally the first one is uh, gec general electronic uh, configuration that is uh, ns2 np3 the general uh, electronic configuration is uh, ns2 np NS2 NP3 is the general electronic configuration. Next now atomic radius. Atomic radius. What is the atomic radius in groups? What is the trend in atomic radius? Yes. Atomic radius increases. Increases from nitrogen to Bismuth. The atomic radius uh, increases from uh, nitrogen to bismuth. So, uh, but uh, here uh, nitrogen to phosphorus, hundred uh, percent atomic radius is uh, increases from nitrogen to bismuth. Here, right one point, na na. There is a considerable increase. There is a considerable increase. There is a considerable increase in atomic radius. In atomic radius, sir, from nitrogen to phosphorus, from nitrogen to Phosphorus and small increase in small increase from arsenic to bismuth is observed. Arsenic to bismuth is observed. This is due to this is due to presence of completely filled D and. the far detail this is due to completely filled d and f orbitals in the heavier members so nitrogen to phosphorus more increase phosphorus to arsenic almost same arsenic to antimony and bismuth it is also less uh, increase but here uh, more increase because in the heavier members uh, completely filled completely filled uh, d and uh, f orbitals the simple reason is uh, completely filled uh, d orbitals and uh, f orbitals like that okay Next the topic is uh, <coughs> ionization energy. Ionization uh, energy. Ionization. Ionization uh, energy. What is uh, ionization energy means? Uh, simply, 
दिस इज रिवर्स प्रोसेस ऑफ एटॉमिक रेडियस दैट मींस नाइट्रोजन इज मोर फास्फरस देन आर्सेनिक देन एंटीमोनी देन बेस्म वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक टू बॉटम व्हाट हैपन मींस डिक्रीजेस फ्रॉम नाइट्रोजन टू बेस्म डिक्रीजेस फ्रॉम नाइट्रोजन टू बेस्म here the one important point is uh, ionization uh, energy of uh, fourth a group fifth a group and uh, sixth a group actually you are going to left to right here fourth a fifth a sixth a you are going to left to right uh, what happen atomic radius uh, decreases atomic radius decreases means uh, ionization energy increases ionization energy increase means which is more ionization energy 60 is uh, more ionization energy but uh, the ie order is uh, uh, 4th a less than uh, 60 a less than uh, 50 a because this is a uh, ns2 np4 configuration this is ns2 np3 configuration np3 means uh, completely half filled electronic configuration it completely half filled uh, electronic configuration due to completely half filled electronic configuration uh, the fifth year group elements are uh, stable that's why more energy is required to move electron that's why 40 a less than uh, 60 a less than uh, 50 a right doubt eh no. electronegativity next the topic is uh, electronegativity electro negativity actually the electronegativity values are also decreases from top to bottom here nitrogen electronegativity 3 phosphorus electronegativity exactly equal to hydrogen hydrogen electronegativity 2.1 this also 2.1 arsenic electronegativity 2.0 antimony antimony is 1.9 here bismuth also 1.9 nitrogen is 3 phosphorus is uh, 2.1 na uh, arsenic is uh, 2 antimony 1.9 bismuth is uh, 1.9 next the uh, periodic property is uh, metallic nature <coughs> metallic uh, nature generally what happen metallic nature means uh, metallic nature uh, increases from uh, nitrogen to bismuth nitrogen to bismuth increases actually here uh, nitrogen comma phosphorus is uh, non metals non metals arsenic and uh, antimony is uh, metalloids metalloids and finally bismuth is uh, 100% metal non metal lo metal oids and uh, metal that's why i'm going to top to bottom metallic nature is uh, increases next the periodic property is uh, boiling point 
boiling point already you know boiling point is uh, the boiling point is uh, directly proportional to molecular weight boiling point is directly proportional to molecular weight that's why nitrogen less than phosphorus less than arsenic less than antimony less than na uh, bismuth నెక్స్ట్ అల్లోట్రోపిక్ అల్లోట్రోపిక్ ద ఎగ్జిస్టెన్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎన్ ఎలిమెంట్ ద ఎగ్జిస్టెన్స్ ఆఫ్ ద ఎగ్జిస్టెన్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎన్ ఎలిమెంట్ in two or more physical states the existence of uh, an element in uh, two or more physical states existence of an element in two or uh, more physical state but having but having same chemical properties but having same chemical properties is called allotropy is called allotropy except nitrogen important point na except nitrogen all elements shows allotropy <coughs> except <coughs> nitrogen all elements shows uh, allotropy next the topic is uh, oxidation state oxidation uh, states here in this oxidation state uh, nitrogen exhibit different oxidation state the common oxidation states are uh, common oxidation state the common uh, oxidation uh, states the common uh, oxidation uh, states are minus 3 plus 3 and uh, plus 5 plus 5 so here uh, due to inert pair effect due to inert pair effect bismuth mainly exhibit plus 3 oxidation state so here ns2 np3 ns2 np3 if all electrons are involved in hybrid bonding oxidation state of plus 5 but here inert pair effect inert means not participate uh, non participate in bonding that means these two are not involved in bonding the time how many electrons involved means only three that's why bismuth exhibit uh, plus three oxidation state the inert pair effect uh, is increases from top to bottom the inert pair effect uh, the inert pair effect uh, ability is increases from uh, top to bottom here uh, nitrogen nitrogen exhibit uh, minus 3 to plus 5 including zero oxidation state including the zero the nitrogen exhibit minus 3 to plus 5 including zero and nitrogen exhibit fractional oxidation state also fractional oxidation state of minus 1 by 3 in hydrozoic acid hydrozoic acid 
the hydrozoic acid molecular formula N3H like this so here uh, considering NH3 molecule nitrogen is X 3 into plus 1 equal to 0 finally the oxidation state is uh, minus 3 already you know the name of NH3 NH3 name means uh, ammonia Suppose you uh, are considering uh, hydrazine, hydrazine, uh, hydrazine, its uh, molecular formula is uh, N2H4. Here, how many nitrogens? Two nitrogens. Plus four hydrogens, uh, four into plus one equal to zero. Therefore, two x equal to plus 4 x <laughs> equal to plus 2 oh sorry uh, sorry 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 2 x equal to minus 4 x equal to minus 2 you considering one more is uh, hydroxyl amine hydroxyl amine its molecular formula is uh, nh2 bond oh NH2 bond OH hydroxyl amine here only one nitrogen for nitrogen X three hydrogens plus three one oxygen minus two equal to zero here X exhibit minus one this is minus three this is minus two this is um, minus one Suppose you considering uh, dinitrogen, dinitrogen, dinitrogen means uh, N2, its oxidation state is uh, 0, minus 3 to plus 5, including 0 oxidation state. So here, uh, minus 3 over, minus 2 over, minus 1 over, 0 over. Mm. Now, now nitrous nit now n2o n2o laughing gas or uh, nitrous oxide nitrous oxide n2o nitrous oxide it is also called uh, laughing gas here how many nitrogens two nitrogens each oxygen is uh, 2 therefore uh, 2x equal to plus 2 therefore x equal to plus 1 like that ok now you considering nitric oxide nitric this is nitrous oxide this is nitric oxide only one nitrogen uh, x minus 2 equal to 0 x equal to plus 2 so this is uh, nitric oxide and uh, you have find uh, for this n2o3 and uh, no2 and uh, n2o5 find oxidation state of nitrogen calculate N two O three, N O two, and N two O five. So in the case of N2O3 plus three. plus 3, in the case of uh, NO2 plus, plus four. 4, in the case of N2O5 plus 5. Plus five. five. So here uh, this is uh, <laughs> plus 3 oxidation state, this is plus 4, this is uh, plus, plus five. 5. Here clearly given nitrogen exhibit the oxidation state of uh, minus 3 to plus, plus five. 5 including zero minus three minus two minus one zero plus one plus two plus three 
plus 4 plus 5 in hydrazoic acid so many times repeated in k set nitrogen na fractional oxidation state is exhibited in the compound of hydrozoic acid n3 h its oxidation state is uh, minus uh, 1 by 3 right next this nitrogen undergoes disproportionation reaction also nitrogen na undergoes uh, this Proportionation reaction also. Disproportionation. What is the meaning of disproportionation? Oxidation. Same element undergoes oxidation and reduction. The same element undergoes oxidation and reduction. Here, 3 moles of HNO2 gives rise to NO plus. HN O3 a 2 moles plus H2 this is the balanced equation with uh, nitrous acid HNO3 means uh, nitrous acid HNO3 means uh, nitric acid so here uh, nitrogen oxidation state is uh, plus 3 here nitrogen oxidation state plus 2 this is plus <coughs> 5. Here 3 is converted to 2. That means here uh, this is a reduction. After that uh, 3 is converted to 5. This one is called uh, oxidation. In a reaction uh, the same element undergoes both oxidation and uh, reduction. Such type of reactions are called uh, Disproportionation. This is a disproportionation. Disproportionation. What is the meaning of disproportionation? Means same element undergoes oxidation and reduction. Okay. Next. Anomalous behavior. Anomalous behavior. Anomalous behavior. In every group, the first element shows uh, anomalous behavior. Not only this group, no, no. Every group. In every group, uh, the first element shows uh, anomalous behavior. Here, what is the first element? Nitrogen. Nitrogen. Nitrogen shows uh, anomalous behavior. The nitrogen shows anomalous behavior. Uh, what is the reason means uh, due to small size the first one is uh, due to small size and uh, high yeah, high ionization uh, energy and uh, high electronegativity and uh, very very important is uh, absence of uh, vacant d orbital absence of uh, Vacant D orbital. Due to the absence of vacant D orbital, uh, due to small atomic size, uh, high electronegativity and uh, ionization energy, and absence of uh, vacant D orbital. This is the main reasons for uh, exhibiting of uh, anomalous behavior of. Uh, Nitrogen. What are anomalous properties? Now, what are uh, anomalous properties? The first one is uh, nitrogen is a gas, uh, the remaining all are uh, solids. So here the characters are uh, nitrogen is uh, gas, the remaining phosphorus, arsenic, antimony and uh, desmuth are uh, solids. Next, nitrogen uh, readily to form uh, 
पी पै पी पै मल्टेपल बॉन्ड्स पी पै पी पै मल्टेपल बॉन्ड सो दट मीन हिर् पै बॉंड फार्मेशन पासीबल ऐक्चुअली पै बॉंड मीन ओवरलैपिंग आफ पी पी आर्बिटल ओवरलैपिंग आफ पी एंड डी आर्बिटल ओवरलैपिंग आफ डी एंड डी आर्बिटल आलो पासीबल बट इन नईट्रोजन डज नाट हेव डी आर्बिटल ड्यू टू सच रीजन नईट्रोजन फॉर्म पी पै पी पै मलिपल बॉंड नईट्रोजन फॉर्म पी पै पी पै मलिपल बॉंड वि नईट्रोजन आर स्म सैज एलिमेंट द स्म सैज एलिमेंट इज लाइक आक्सीजन लाइक कॉबन दट मीन हिर् सी ट्रिपल बॉंड वो बट इयर नईट्रोजन देर सी ट्रिपल बॉंड एन दबल बॉंड वो लाइक दो एनी वन मलिपल बॉंड फार्मेशन इज पासीबल बट रिमेनिंग एलिमेंट्स वाट आर्सनिक फास्फर आर्सनिक एंटीमोनी इज रेडी टू फॉर्म पी पै डी पै मलिपल बॉंड अंड डी पै डी पै मलिपल बॉंड्स डी पी पै डी पै अंड डी पै डी पै मलिपल बॉंड्स बट दिस टाइप आफ बॉंड्स नाट अवेलेबल इन नईट्रोजन बिकाज इन नईट्रोजन देर इज नो डी आर बीटा हाँ बिस्मत आलो ना बट बिस्मत मोनो एटामिक दट नाट कंसिडर ना बिस्मत आलो फॉम बट different element next na the bond the bond enthalpy of nitrogen and nitrogen the bond enthalpy of nitrogen and nitrogen is more than that of phosphorus and phosphorus The bond enthalpy of nitrogen and nitrogen is more than that of phosphorus and phosphorus because because in nitrogen is high inter-electronic <coughs> repulsion because in nitrogen is high Inter electronic repulsions are present, and the very very uh, and one more is uh, nitrogen na uh, maximum valence. Nitrogen na uh, maximum valence is uh, for the remaining elements: uh, phosphorus, arsenic, antimony, and uh, bismuth. Maximum valence is. Uh, Six uh, utilizing the vacant uh, d orbital. Only in nitrogen, uh, maximum valence is for uh, the remaining all our maximum valence is uh, six. So this is about the uh, anomalous uh, properties. Right. Next uh, chemical properties. chemical <coughs> properties here in this chemical properties the first one is reaction with the hydrogen reaction with the h2 so here reaction with the h2 here the fifth year group element e react with the h2 to form uh, e h3 type compounds e h3 type here uh, e is uh, nitrogen phosphorus arsenic antimony and uh, bismuth here uh, e suppose for equation balance 
this is two moles, this is three moles, this is two moles. Two moles of E plus three moles of H2 gives rise to two moles of E H3. Okay, Nana? So here, uh, discussion about properties, Nana. Here, uh, E H3. So if you substituted here, uh, NH3 and uh, PH3 and uh, ASH3 and uh, SBH3 and uh, BIH3. Listen carefully. The very, very important point, Nana. Boiling point. Very, 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 very important. Boiling point. The boiling point of uh, ammonia is more than that of uh, PH3 and uh, ASH3. Actually, what is the concept of boiling point means uh, boiling point directly proportional to molecular weight. But the NH3 <coughs> less molecular weight. But what is uh, more boiling point because of one and only reason hydrogen bonding. Here uh, PH3 less than uh, All the properties decreases except reducing nature. Only when the property reducing nature is increases from top to bottom, remaining all are <coughs> decreases from top to bottom. Thermal stability decreases. Next, the one, next one is basic nature. Basic nature, same order. NH3 greater than PH3 greater than ASH3 greater than SBH3 greater than BIH3. And dipole moment, same order. NH3 greater than BIH3, same, 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 same. Dipole moment. Already boiling point is over. The boiling point of ammonia is more. 
why ammonia possesses abnormal boiling point means due to the presence of hydrogen bonding yes next bond angles bond angles this also decreases decreases from top to bottom ammonia bond angle 107 degrees ammonia mh3 bond angle 107 degrees ph3 bond angle around 93 degrees then ash3 bond angle around 91 degrees 48 minutes sbh3 bond angle 91 degrees 18 minutes and last one is bih3 the bond angle is 90 degrees what happen means we are going to top to bottom bond angles are decreases and the last one final reducing nature reducing nature the reducing nature is increases from top to bottom the reducing nature is increases from top to bottom the order is nh3 less than ph3 less than ash3 less than sbh3 less than bi right now for today over nana concept tomara discuss remaining chemical properties tomara means again yes. right Red. 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 Red.